This is so beautiful up here. I haven't seen any fish out there yet, but I just got here. Uh, it only took me about 45 minutes to get up uh, where I'm going. There's another lake right below me. I think I'm gonna walk down there and see if I can't find a place to uh, set up my camp. The, that lake typically has a little bit bigger fish, but I'm going to find camp. We'll show you what I'm working with and uh, we're gonna spend a lot of time fishing. I love it up here. It is so nice. I am up here alone. I was the only one in the parking lot. It is the opening day of the deer hunt, but I, I doubt anybody will come up here. If they're, if, if they're coming up where I'm at hunting, they don't know what they're doing. So the lower lake, it only has about real, two really good places to camp. One of the spots is right next to the trail. That's never an option. That camp needs to be dismantled. The other one is uh, got a lot of really, um, it's got a lot of dead trees around it just waiting to, to fall. So I don't really want to tree to drop on me at night so I hiked back to the upper lake and it's it's two minutes away I'm a two to three minute walk to the other lake I'll fish them both so yeah we're gonna get the camp set up and I'm gonna fish probably until it gets too cold to do so I'll take a break at some point and collect firewood I do have a rack of ribs frozen so we're gonna do a, a pretty proper dinner uh, there's no way I'm gonna eat it all but uh, it's gonna be good You can see that or not with my GoPro, but I finally caught a fish just as a group of noisy day, day hikers showed up. Missed a few strikes, and that's fine. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. Got some pretty fall colors. All right, it is two o'clock. It's already starting to chill off. My first fishing session wasn't that great. I did catch two teeny little brook trout. The, the family that day hiked up here, they had a couple boys who just got fly fishing rods and uh, they didn't know how to fly fish. Their parents didn't know how to fly fish. So we had a little fly fishing lesson. Obviously I didn't film any of that, but the one of them caught a fish, the other one didn't, but it was kind of fun. Uh, I, you know, it was fun to watch. So I'm going to, uh, before it gets cold, I'm going to collect firewood. I'm going to have probably a pretty good fire tonight. I probably said it earlier, but I've got a, a rack of ribs. I've got like two and a half pounds of meat. It's a big, it's a pretty big rack that I need to cook on a fire tonight. So we're going to get a bunch of wood so I don't have to do it later when it's cold. And then probably spend the rest of the, the evening, the afternoon fishing. Uh, nobody else up here now. Everybody's gone. So... Hopefully it stays that way. Kinda cool. Finally found a fish. They're so small in here. I've missed a couple dozen strikes. <laughs> They're just teeny. Really pretty though. Aggressive, just uh, really small. turning into a beautiful night. It is, uh, it's only six o'clock. 
I haven't really ate anything today, so I got a fire going and there's some uh, ribs there that I'm gonna throw on it here in a minute. They are going to be incredible. You can't really tell, but that mountain there behind me is beautiful. I spent about six hours fishing. I spent a lot of time down at that lower pond trying to catch uh, some of the bigger fish. By bigger, I mean 10 to 12 inches. I caught a handful out of the lake just right below me, but they're, you know, they're four to four to six inches. The biggest one I, the biggest one that I caught was that first one that I filmed. <laughs> Little, but fun. Not the fastest of action, but pretty consistent. So the rest of the night, I'm going to uh, focus on dinner. It's probably gonna take a bit to cook. I'm gonna warm up. I'm a little cold from uh, handling the fish in the water and then I filtered water, but it's uh, gonna be a good night, good dinner, and I'm looking forward to a movie in the tent. This will most likely be my, my last trip up here this year. It's gonna start getting real cold, uh, I think next week. So let's relax. It is so peaceful and quiet, um, just unbelievable. Uh, my ribs, I just pulled them off the fire. It's been about an hour and a half. And we're gonna uh, open the tinfoil and take a look at them. They should be done, they smell done. If they're not, I'll throw them back in the fire. But uh, yeah, check this out. Well, I just cut them open. You can see they're done. They're gonna taste fantastic. All right, it is dark. You probably can't see me, but the ribs, they just look. They look good, they smell good. I'm gonna turn this camera off and eat as many as I can and then go down to the, the lake and wash my hands and uh, clean my knife. Yep. <laughs>